This afternoon, testimony in the James Crumbly trial centered around the shooter's access to guns. Yeah, Krista McDonald is anchoring our coverage all day on Local 4 Plus. She's here now with some key takeaways from the courtroom. Hey there, Krista. Hey, Damon and Karen, you know, part of the prosecution's case against James Crumbly hinges on the guns that were in the home. He bought them. It was his job to keep them secure. But today, there were some difficult moments in court as we saw video of the shooter going to gun ranges, firing guns with his parents. Go ahead and take a look. As jarring as it is to see that, and I'm sure it was for so many families of Oxford High School students, it is not illegal for a minor to shoot guns at a range with parental supervision. And we did see this video come up in Jennifer Crumbly's trial as well. But the prosecution was also showing that the shooter sent a video to a friend at 1230 in the morning back on August of 21, as you see right there. He was loading this gun inside of his home, and he sent this text message to the friend saying, my dad left it out and thought, why not? LOL. ATF agent Brett Brandon picks it up from there with questions from prosecutor Karen McDonald. Talk to me about this video, uh, Special Agent Brandon, and, um, and, and what your view is on the safe, the, the, whether or not what was happening in that video was safe. So I, I would say that Regardless if Mr. Crumley was standing over his shoulder or not, or not, that would not be safe. The firearm is on top of a, a dining room table. It's, it's loaded. The safety's off, uh, and it's pointed in a direction that if you're inside their home, you can't tell from the video whether he's facing uh, the front of the home or the side of the home. But regardless, the firearm's pointed in a direction that would be almost chest level if a person was beyond the walls of the house or if, if a person was standing nearby. Um, not to mention almost, you know, uh, pointing the firearm at the cat. And again, if the prosecution is trying to show gross negligence here, this is the larger picture they're trying to paint. GPS shows that James Crumbly was home at the time that that video was taken and the text message was sent in August of 2021. Agent Brandon also talked about the gun lock that came with the murder weapon that was used at Oxford High School. It was a coil lock and it was inside of a baggie that they showed today. And he said if it had been taken in and out, of course it had been opened, but if it had been used multiple times, that bag would have been a lot more ripped up and it would have shown a lot more use. And again, that lock for the nine millimeter was actually found in another gun box in another location inside of the home. So that's kind of the key testimony today about gun possession, really, and access in the Crumbly's home. Tonight at eight o'clock, we're going to pull some more testimony for you. If you missed it today, it is the school counselor, Sean Hopkins, talking about how he interfaced with the shooter that day. And of course, James and Jennifer Crumbly, when they came in for that school meeting just hours before the school shooting, streaming live for you tonight at 8 o'clock on Local 4 Plus. But join us back here. Click on Detroit.com for our trial coverage starting again tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. I'll send it back to you. All right, Chris, we know you've been busy staying on top of this, so thank you.